The kind of brain tumor diagnosed in Senator Ted Kennedy is called a malignant glioma. It's one of the most common and one of the deadliest forms of brain cancer. Health reporter Marta Waller is here now with more on this type of brain tumor and how it's treated. Marta. You know, a diagnosis of malignant glioma is particularly devastating because while there is treatment, there is no cure and long-term survival is very limited. A malignant glioma is a cancer that begins in the brain and the cells that surround and support the neurons or nerve cells that do the actual work of the brain. Malignant gliomas account for just under one-third of all primary brain tumors. And the experts say in the vast majority of cases, they simply don't know what causes the tumors. Neuro-oncologist Dr. Tim Clousey of the Johnson Cancer Center at UCLA says having seizures can occur at any time of tumor development depending on location. You can have uh, very large tumors uh, that eventually would lead to a seizure or very small tumors that are just irritating a certain part of the brain that leads to a seizure. Malignant gliomas are the leading cause of cancer death in patients under 15 and under, and the second leading cause of cancer death from ages 15 to 34. And as people age, the incidence of glioma is on the rise. When a tumor is located in the left parietal lobe, as shown on this model, doctors are faced with trying to stop the cancer without seriously harming language and writing skills. The standard of care is remove as much of the tumor as you can safely, then to use radiation therapy and chemotherapy together. After radiation therapy is completed with the chemotherapy, we continue with chemotherapy afterwards, and we can continue doing that for a number of months. Dr. Clousey says people under 55 do better in terms of survival than those who are older. He says the worst case scenario puts survival with the most aggressive type of tumor about 15 months, but each patient is different in the way he or she responds. And when traditional therapy isn't working well, there are experimental treatments available. Of course, for more information about malignant glioma, you can head to ktla.com slash health. Okay, so Marta, how common is this? How many people are getting malignant glioma each year? I was surprised. It's actually about one in, or, or, it's a one in every six or seven of, of every 100,000. It's about 9,000 Americans will be struck with this each year. And the experimental treatments, though, are amazing. And in fact, coming up on Prime News in the next uh, week or so, I'm going to have a special report on a vaccine they're working on that has proven very successful and is extending lifespan mm. and uh, wow. quality of life. Okay. All right, Marta. Thank you very much.